Hi everybody, Charlie here from Raptorium, just up at the, the mountain here, going to do a little bit of shooting with my 30 odd 6 and for me shooting is, it's therapeutic, you know, I'm at home all day with the kids, I work uh, all the time uh, on Raptorium, in between kids, work late at night, so for me shooting is therapeutic. So I'm up here, I finally got a little bit of time away, going to put some rounds to my new rifle, at the same time I figured... Why the hell not? Let's talk about Raptorium. So we have a lot of questions. Obviously Raptorium is growing like, like crazy, you know? Uh, I have people asking why invest in Raptorium? You know, uh, what is Raptorium? Uh, lots of other questions as well, but I mean, the reason Raptorium was started and is being developed is to address problems that we saw on other projects such as Ethereum, uh, Ravencoin, um, address those problems in a different way through innovation. You know, Ethereum's got problems with uh, um, network congestion, um, huge gas fees, it doesn't scale well. Uh, they're trying to um, mitigate this through going to basically proof of stake and ditching the miners, which myself, I think that's a mistake. I don't think that's going to end well. I could be wrong. But, so what we're doing with Raptorium, we started off as a Ravencoin uh, code fork, but unfortunately the Ravencoin code base uh, was throwing us bugs and uh, exploits and their code and uh, it just turned out to be too much work and uh, too much of a hassle to deal with that code base so we did some research exploration uh, you know whatever to find out where we were going to take raptorium um, and between myself big piggy try i am legion we uh we scoured the earth and we came up with dash was pretty much what we were looking for so uh, that is kind of what we ran with, and it has been awesome. Dash is an awesome code base to deal with. So we uh, implemented the Ghost Rider algorithm, basically to keep ASICs and FPGA off the network, because both of those are counterproductive to uh, decentralization, the counter decentralization. Um, FPGA, I mean, you have a big cost for entry fee, you need to know how to deal with the bit streams or code the bit streams. You have ASICs, which are a high entry fee, uh, high entry cost. Um, we wanted to keep decentralization at the max that we could. And that means keeping these things off of the network. Um, I'm not ex exactly against FPGA. I mean, they're very efficient. But at this time, they're just not not reasonable for uh you know your average joe to go get an fpj blow a bunch of money uh find a bitstream much less code a bitstream uh so we want to keep these off the network and ghost rider does that for asics by making sure that it's too risky i mean we can brick the asics we will be able to brick the asics with simply introducing something on the fly to the ghost rider algorithm we will break them the FPGA, of course, they can adapt the bitstream to it, but uh, we can make it a real pain in the ass. And also the way Ghost Rider is designed, you're going to have to chain high-end FPGA together. It's very cost prohibitive. Plus the fact that we can mess with uh, the algorithm and make them change the bitstream. So, that is number one, why Raptorium? We're all about decentralization and making things happen for the average joe and it's exploding people are seeing it right now it's cp only gp only is coming so here's a shot for ghost rider yeah that was a headshot Okay, so that deals with Ghost Rider. You know, that's one of the big things we wanted to do is 
mining for everybody. Uh, third world countries, anybody that can have a CPU, an ARM device, mine. So now we come back to uh, another big one is assets, NFT, non-fungible tokens. So we're going to introduce those. And along with introducing those, we have a couple surprises, such as how they're going to run, possibly on the uh, the smart node network. What is a smart node? Simple. It's uh, a VPS server runs a specialized Raptorium wallet or daemon, protects the network. This is not proof of stake. It's different. Um, you lock up your funds in a smart node, and uh, you're rewarded daily. And this is for protecting the network. At some point, when smart contra contracts come into play, the, the smart node uh, network will store and execute smart nodes, or uh, smart contracts, sorry. And they'll do this through Spark, Apache Spark. That's way beyond the scope of my little fun discussion here, you know, but it's very cool because we avoid uh, the scaling issues that Ethereum have seen, and we can even actually maybe increase our trans um, transactions per second TPS beyond what most other proof of work pal pot blockchains are able to do now. That's something we're looking at. So the, the whole smart uh, contract on smart nodes and assets on smart nodes is crazy uh, flexible, powerful. Uh, we're constantly looking at how we can further utilize it. It's different from what is out there. Uh, uh, today so that's that's very cool so uh, we'll see the the smart contract paper is out and I recommend you read it uh, it's it's a twist you know it's a lot different than what others are doing out there for smart contracts it allows us to offer smart contracts which are bigger um, common project uh, programming languages uh, Java Python you know Rust whatever this opens doors to a whole plethora of different programmers. So, here is to smart contracts on smart notes. Hell yeah, smart contracts. So, I talked about assets, smart nodes. Um, assets will be similar to Ravencoin. You'll be able to attach that just through the wallet, uh, create it just through the wallet. We will not burn the fees like Ravencoin does. Uh, they would get recycled back into the ecosystem. And uh, we can also adjust fees on the fly, so making sure that everybody can always afford you know, to create an asset. We want this to be affordable always for small business. Anybody that wants to get into blockchain, add traceability uh, to the products. You know, we, we don't want to bar entry to anybody. So that that's a big one for uh, assets is the adjustable fees. Oh, I talked about Ghost Rider. I fired a shot. I talked about smart contracts. I fired a shot. I talked about assets assets uh the paper is almost ready Micah's working on that and he's kicking ass so i cannot talk about assets and not fire a shot considering how important they are maybe i'll go dig out this bullet and we'll make an nft out of it what do you think about that So that's pretty cool. And then we have futures, which are almost here, which allows you to lock when the time comes assets into a block uh, by confirmation or timestamp or native coins, RTM coins. You can lock those in. And of course, these can work in conjunction with smart contracts, which is very exciting. Everything we're doing, all of these features are designed to mesh and work together and come in to create a platform that you know is future proof it it's solving the problems that we're seeing with ethereum 
Raven coin, it's protected. We're not going to see attacks like Ethereum Classic where people are getting screwed out of millions of dollars because of 51% slash double spends. It's exciting. And people are starting to take notice. And Raptorium is taking off. We flew under the radar for a long time, but uh, it's here. It's getting noticed. We have a, an awesome tight team. We've been working together since 2018. You know, we mesh. We have... One of the best communities in crypto. I am privileged and honored to be a part of the project and the community. Really, I'm almost emotional right now. It's an awesome community. And people are starting to notice that. So I'm stoked. 2021 is going to be amazing for Raptorium. Um, we welcome any... Uh, questions on uh, discord any concerns you can always get me at charlie at raptorium.com anytime we're here to answer any questions so yeah that's my little spiel on the mountaintop with my rifle doing some shooting because i love it like i love raptorium so here's a couple of shots just for fun And that's that. I hope you enjoyed the, the little mountaintop spiel with my, uh, my rifle and me. I welcome you to Raptorium. I love the community. I love the project. I look forward to 2021. Charlie out.